To do a kinetics experiment on the Genesis, you need to get to the main menu. If you're not there already, press test. That will take you to this menu with many choices. For kinetics, the choice should be obvious, kinetics. I hit enter to select that. Now I have many choices. Many of them you just leave the same. You could name your test. Absorbance is the correct measurement mode. For the enzyme assay, this needs to be 235 nanometers. You just type in a number. So if I wanted to change the wavelength, I type in a number, 350, all right, there we go. I don't really want that, so here I go back again. 235 is what I want. Excellent. Okay, reference wavelength, leave that off, delay time, none. Interval, so this is important. How often do you want to take data points? Right now it's set for five second intervals. That seems fine to me. Again, if you want to change it, two second intervals, okay. Now it's going to take lots of data points. Total run time, right now it's set for two minutes. Uh, we should be able to get it your assay done in one minute, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll do two minutes. And I'll reset this to five second intervals. When everything is set up the way I want it to be, I click run test. And it's checking the turret. Okay. So now, when I'm ready to run my experiment, I click on this button, but I need to be ready first. So here I've prepared my cuvette. It has ampicillin and buffer in it. This is going to be working a little differently than you're used to. Instead of running a baseline of this cuvette, the spectrophotometer is going to compare the absorbance of the cuvette in slot 1 versus whatever's in slot B. So I'm just going to use an air baseline. There's no cuvette here. I will add my enzyme to this cuvette, quickly mix the contents, as you've done before, inversion, and then I will click on measure sample. I'm pipetting five microliters of enzyme. When you use these micro pipette tips, this line right about here is the two microliter mark. So you get a sense, there's some internal calibration. Have my five microliters of enzyme. Would help if I had a team here. Inject enzyme. Put on the lid, invert. Place in slot number one. Measure sample. So it's now taking its baseline. That's the delay that's unavoidable on this machine. So now it's taking data points every five seconds. And the absorbance is changing with time, which is being plotted on this graph. Since it's going to run for two minutes at five second intervals, that should be 24 data points, which is plenty to get a nice linear rate. All right, so the graph shows the progress of the reaction. It is set to auto print, so out comes the printout. It has provided a rate here, but that rate takes the average over the entire time period. And you can see that the initial rate is steep and then it bottoms out when all the ampicillin is destroyed. So I need to recalculate the rate based on this initial portion here. To 
Edit the graph so I'm only looking at the part that I want to look at and calculate the rate in the beginning. Click on Edit Graph. Manual Scale. This will allow me to tell it which interval of time do I want to look at. Notice before I change it that the rate is negative 0.251 absorbance units per minute. I'm going to now look at this initial portion here, which means that the x value I want to only go up to, let's try 45 seconds. So I type in 45. So now it's calculating the rate during the first 45 seconds. But if you see, it, there's some curvature here. It's slowing down, so let's go to an even smaller time interval. Max x will be 30 seconds. So this is the first 30 seconds of my enzyme catalyzed reaction. I have a nice linear portion here. This is the rate that I would write in my notebook. This is the rate I would actually want to print out. Before I print this, I'll make it look a little printer prettier by adjusting the Y scale. Min Y could be 1.2. It would look better that way. There we go. And I'll print this. Here's the original unscaled graph with a rate of negative 0.251 absorbance units per minute. And here is the modified graph with a much faster rate which is more realistic to what the enzyme actually did.